William Hill, sponsors Seconds Out. Radio Raheem here with Eddie Hearn, taking a little stroll down memory lane before the camera started rolling, at least this camera. And, you know, it reminded me of when I was the, the young upstart yank over there, trying to, like, uh, meet people and do these interviews. And I was sitting with Joshua, and, of course, Coogan was in the background, uh, lapping it up, enjoying every yeah. moment. And we talked about, even then, when I might be sitting with him in America. Yeah. I talked with you over these several years about when is the American market going to be the place that you feel you need to plant your flag. All along the way, you guys were like, eh, we don't need America. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. This is the hub of boxing. America's over. And here we stand. What changed in the last four years between then and now? Lots of things, really. I mean, money, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the changing landscape of American boxing in terms of the broadcasters. Um, the lack of us being able to get that one super fight that we wanted next, which was Deontay Wilder. Needing to improve Joshua's profile in the States. Um, so quite a few things. And trying to release, I guess, a little bit the UK market. You know, mm. Wembley, Millennium Stadium, Wembley, Millennium Stadium. And just having one, in, one out here. So... It's not really something we overthought and there isn't a big science behind it. We just sort of went, should we do one in America? We went, yeah, and we've done oh. it, you know? Well, and what, what we've got is, is a very proud moment for AJ, for me, selfishly, for our family business, hmm. where we get to do the dream job for the week, which is promote the World Unified Heavyweight Championship at Madison Square Garden. Quite frankly, it feels amazing. And it is a dream come true for us and for AJ because when I sat in the office with him, when he just finished as an amateur and we were talking about the debut, I gave him the spiel. You know, one day, mate, we'll be headlining Wembley. We'll do Madison Square Garden. <laughs> and I was thinking, OK, we've got a long way to go. And now we're doing it. So I think this is one of those moments where you look back and say it's a big tick off the list, you know. But there's a, there is a science to it in the way that he's not well known enough here as he needs to be in the current landscape of, of what's happening in boxing so we're here to make a big impact on the American market Madison Square Garden will be sold out on Saturday it's a tremendous card it'll be an amazing event what we need now is one of his flagship performances against a very very tough guy in Andy Ruiz who makes me laugh because he does not give a fuck he's like he's loving this and he's like, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to knock Joshua out. I'm going to let my hands go and I'm not going to stop. He doesn't even realise how big this moment is for him. He's fighting for the Unified World Heavyweight Championship at Madison Square Garden. And he just can't wait. He's just, And that's dangerous in itself. And everybody's talking about, oh, what's next? Why, when's Wilder out? It's so, like, stop. And even AJ's like that at the moment. You know, he's like, mm. the media are saying, is Wilder next? He's like, stop. Let me beat Ruiz. Because there's a lot of pressure on this fight, and I, there's pressure to win, and there's also pressure to deliver a statement, like Wilder did right. last week, which was impressive. Radio Raheem with Eddie Hearn. William Hill sponsors Seconds Out.